All right, so are you guys ready? <laughs> so, okay, so I got these for my birthday. I've been eyeing, I've been eyeing these Gucci lipsticks for quite some time, probably since March when I've heard of them. I only wore two of these, so the only lip liners I'm going to be using is Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude and Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk in Intense 3. Let's go off and start from latest to darkest. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Lorna Dune. That one is 102. Packaging looks just like this. So the reason why I wanted to do this review was because not many people of my complexion was doing a review or they did reviews and they didn't put a lip liner on with it so it bothered me so I'm gonna do it with a lip liner because that's how I can see it I'm gonna go ahead and start with lining my lips so yeah um, back to what I was saying, I feel like not a lot of people were doing reviews on Gucci lipsticks. I like just neutralizing my whole lip with this lip liner. That one was the Iconic Nude. I know it was sold out online, but you can find them in store because they're always stocked up at my store. This one is, um... Lorna Dune, one of the lighter shades in, not the latest, but one of the lighter shades in this satin collection. It's like a um, light pink. I'm always looking for the perfect nudie pink for me, too. Like I said before, I see many tutorials without lip liners, and I was over it, over it. So I wanted to create a review with me lining my lips and applying these light lipsticks because we're not gonna have concealer lips, baby. Light no. So this is Lorna Dune, very very close to my complexion. You can use a darker lip liner. Yes, you can. That's totally up to you but I like that nudie nude lip look like my lip it's like my lip but it's nice and even that's the vibe I get with the lip liner and the lipstick it's beautiful this could be my lip color for today eh, I could show my lips so let's take this off this color I seen on the youtuber Desi no this one I did see on Katie, and I was like, I need that. Let me do Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 3. Yeah, it's dark until you go over top of it with the lipstick. This is Carol Beige. It's such a gorgeous color. This is just a satin finish where Katie had a matte finish. A little bit more at the center to really lighten up that lipstick. I wish you could see it the way I see it in my mirror. It just looks light and then it has like that dark effect, which I love. So this one's Carol Beige with Pillow Talk number three lip liner. We're gonna take that off. I am not gonna be doing this for all of them. I just want you to see the difference. This is Carol Beige with the Iconic Nude Lip Liner. That's what I'm going to line my lips with the rest of these lipsticks too. Just because I don't want to change the color and throw you guys off. So, I really love those two. The next two I'm going to be showing, I've never tried them. 
ever. The next one is a matte finish. This one's penny beige. I heard great things about penny beige. It's actually a popular color. And the reason why I'm not putting lip gloss on top of it, it would just make it so messy. It's easier for me to clean. So, ugh, penny beige. 104 the packaging is a lot different way different than the other one so pretty yeah i like the satin packaging a lot better because it's so detailed look at this where the mat is just like these straight little lines all over oh yeah this is that color that everyone was like, this color is like no color you ever own in your collection. And I see it. Ooh. Very comfortable. Oh my god. Too comfortable. For a matte. This is gorgeous. This is like my... Like my lip. Look at that color. It's so beautiful. So this is the last lip. We're going to be lining with iconic nude. And this last lip is the one I'm wearing for today. So Alright, so the next color is Susan Nude. Now this one is a satin finish. Satin finish, so it's that beautiful packaging that I love. And I have not used this one yet. It has like the Gucci logo on the lipstick. The logo on the lipstick. I forgot what they described this one as, but it was a different neutral pink. Let's see. I know Kinky, Kinky Twist, I think that's her name, too. This is her favorite nude. So I was like, I gotta give that a try. These nudes are like... So pretty, so delicate, look at this. This is like that nude that you... These are those concealer nudes that everyone's freaking looking for because they may all look the same, but the undertone looking at it, they're all different in their own way. This is like a, like a nudey, pinky, peachy nude. Like, this is definitely different. So I know you can always like buy them online because they're only sold online and then go to your local Sephora and return them if you don't like them. But I highly recommend them because these are the nudes that I feel like me personally and my clients are looking for every day. Um, that concealer nude. Like, no brand has nothing like this. And I work with makeup every day. Um, how, yeah. So those were the four. I just wanted to have one matte finish, which was Penny Beige. And then this one's Susan Nude. She's very pretty, pretty pinky, um, and she goes with the look, full show. Let's add a little gloss. Let's add a little gloss. I have this Dior one. I believe it's called Rosewood, but we're just going to add a little. Not too much. Just in the center of the lips, just to make them pop. beautiful and this is my look today guys um but yeah i do give the gucci lipsticks a 10 out of 10 i do highly recommend them and i'm not just saying that because i work with sephora like nudes are freaking hard to find so when you find them you let your girls know okay so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like my video subscribe and press that share button share share my videos okay bye